Welcome back to Only Friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another rainy day in LA forecast. Poopy. Yeah. And uh, continuously, continuingly to be poopy. Has it been poopy here for a couple days? Just yesterday. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> We've entered our rainy era. Well, I no, was it's saying- been in a rainy era. I feel like it's rained every fucking day. <laughs> I was November. saying to Carly, I was like, I'm fine with the rain right now because like I don't want any social interaction for like at least the next three days. That's fair. Um, like <laughs> I just want to uh, lay. I've been gone for two well, weeks. That's how I feel every day. So I totally get it. <laughs> so fair. Yeah. Um, but how are you? Tell me everything. We, to be fair, me, just had a hear- full conversation yeah. for like an hour about all the things we can't say. Yeah. We did a free pull, f- a full pre podcast. Yeah. It was about an hour. So it was kind of a podcast. Yeah. She, like Carly got now. here at noon and it's now 11.54. I got here at 11. And now I mean, 11. 11. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Somehow not we well. done <laughs> I've been up since 6 a.m. Okay. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. No, it's like great. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean it a bad way. Okay. No, I know. <laughs> I just like think 6 a.m. is a terrible You, you know what? I think you did mean it in a bad <laughs> I'm way. I'm really mean, and- Aaron. <laughs> we should flip the script. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Aaron, no one cares that you woke up at 6 a.m. Yeah. Um, I was listening to good, uh, only uh, fuck, good influences on the way here. The new we're one, so funny. I listened. I was cracking to it up last night because I was like, I think we need to cut something out. Yeah, which <laughs> it wasn't like me intentionally trying to be like mean. I was just trying to be silly. But then after you were, like, like thinking s- about it, yeah, and I was like, I don't want this to come across the wrong way. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what you said. I don't know if you want to like share, but the class, I'm happy. You don't have to. I'm happy to it with was, context. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I really don't know how it got brought up, but people were talking about how Jason used to work for SNL. Oh, and then I yes. was like, see, Jason, like you could get a real job. Oh, okay, yeah. But I think the Fully way it came the... across was like not. It was silly. A yeah. Yes, it's because so, everyone on TikTok is like, get a job, Jason. So yeah, like we're just yeah just playing off. That of was it. definitely the next episode because we were talking about podcasts because Jason had a podcast like literally oh, hundred years right, ago. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't intended to be mean, but I could see why people would take it that way, and I just don't want to have to deal with that. So now I'm talking about it publicly on here. <laughs> no, but I think it helps like with context, even though it's 100%. not even gonna like be. We're getting ahead of the scandal. Yeah. <laughs> getting ahead of the scandal. You know what I mean? Like I'm just like people were gonna twist it and be yeah. like James shading him, blah blah blah, which is like yeah. I'm just trying to be silly. And it's like you don't want Jason to see it and be like, oh, I was being serious because it's like 100. I think he would actually laugh. I know, but yeah, you know what I mean though. I just yeah, was like course, I don't want to. I don't. Wanna There's some things like even feelings. even just like in person like not recorded like we'll joke about something but we don't like not like that person it's just like totally. funny to like it's Make just like a little silly quip. i don't know i Be get a little it. quippy and silly yeah. and but i do want to say i know we've talked about it a little bit on here but we do explain completely the whole studio situation yep. on good influences and why we moved and you know the it's pretty juicy <laughs> very, literally literally very juicy our chairs were Pussy compromised <laughs> okay yeah orgies were happening yeah. um me carly matt and mike were doing some naughty naughty yeah, things. no it was not us it was a different <laughs> podcast or maybe it was you'll yep. have to listen you'll to, have to listen or watch it but it is up on good influences so if you're interested in hearing the full story from everyone's perspective because i feel like we all had different reactions to yeah. it and it was very funny i was lolling uh, also watching it i could see like the life leaving my eyes because of how tired i was <laughs> oh yeah, yeah yeah we had to record at nighttime yeah which for me like mm-mm. like i lived a full we six? life we started Five. at six no 4 30 it was 4 30 you're right yeah so but then by the like, time really we started the second episode yeah. i was like it's dinner time yeah it's sleepy time yeah and you know, I lived a full day, did a lot of stuff, and I just don't think that's the life for me. I'm not <laughs> a night. I'm not a night worker. I would love to do podcasts at night. I'm I'm a night person, so like I feel like better. I know, but it's so interesting that you say that because I feel like you now get into bed at like eight. No, but I could do a podcast at like seven <laughs> or eight. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm actually even going to bed later, so yeah. I it, it just like interrupts my flow of life. No, I get it. Like I'm like you have a certain like schedule. PM, it's like, also like your husband has like he works until a certain totally. time. So it's like, then you have your time together. Our quality time. Yeah. Our QT. Yes. I need to eat food. Well, yeah. I was, That's I really important. struggled, but I did it. I'm so proud of you. Our lives are, as influencers, you it's guys hard out even here. Understand. <laughs> it's brutal out here. <laughs> yeah. I had to record at 4.30 These PM. psychopath influencers were trying to get me work past working hours. Like <laughs> that's how difficult it is. <laughs> should I talk about La Poubelle? Um, yeah. Or should I not? It's funny. Like okay. you thinking the me part of it. Well, okay. So I was on TikTok very late one night 
this past weekend, I believe. Well, it wasn't even though no, it was like 11, it wasn't that late. And I saw a group, it looked terrifying. <laughs> um, a group of maybe like seven I think to 13, oh, yeah. like people. People who are young. I would say they were like, like mid to late 20s. Oh, okay. Well, the when one you I was it to wa- me the next night, I was yes. like, uh oh. But the one I was watching, they were young okay like i don't know how old but whatever it doesn't really matter it just okay i'm gonna backtrack and t- explain what happened so there's a restaurant in la called la poubelle and apparently well, the owner preface uh my involvement i'll get there <laughs> i feel like it's funny you want me to t- okay so aaron goes there before emo night every before every emo every night emo i go night, to la poubelle it's also yeah. like what? i love la poubelle I know. I it's know. just like a great bar. Like yeah, yeah. The food, not good. I literally only go there for beverages. The ordering system too is like Slay. incredible. You literally just do it on your phone. Yeah. And you have to like get away. Like it's so nice. I it's went there like once. It's a rustic, dark, vibey. Like uh, it makes me want to curl up with a book. No, yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's cozy. Yes. It's extremely cozy. Um, <laughs> so that's a preface, I suppose. Aaron goes there like once a month before emo night. Yeah. Um, so then, okay. So I see this protest. I'm like, what's going on? So apparently the owner of La Poubelle, she's like an older lady. Apparently she st- stood up for Danny Masterson in court. Like she went to court every Terrible. day with him, who, if you don't know, Danny Masterson is in jail, I believe for he, I, so- R wording women like drink drugs like sexually assaulting yes, women yes, yes. in like many different ways yeah um, and he's a scientologist and if you don't know the scientology one of the scientology buildings is across the street from this the, the celebrity scientology yeah the celebrity center. center um he and he is in prison for life oh okay and i only know this because we were just listening to something yesterday he got i forget what it's called but like this group in i think they were calling it like the bbc it's like people in prison put like a hit out on him and Uh-oh. then he got i'm pretty sure he got like attacked and so they wound up moving him in jail. to another prison in california that's like less bad Ugh. just because he got beat up or like, or, like, like a hit out his life yes okay isn't that nuts yeah that is crazy like why and it was like just after you told me. Uh, by the way, I didn't know anything about this. No, no, this. Aaron did not know anything. <laughs> she, I guess she like wrote a bunch of letters to the court, like re- letters of recommendation because that helps your case, whatever. Like so, Ashton and Mila. Yes, like that. It's like a character statement, yes. which like I, I was going to say I get why people do it, but I actually don't in that situation. Yeah, like not in that situation. No. Um, so people found this out and when I was watching this TikTok live, there were so many, like, it looked like kids, but I don't know. It looked like a different planet. They all had, I feel like a boomer right now also. They had these crazy like contraptions holding their phones. Everyone like, was streaming. It was like the necklace type of holder that is like stiff and it also curves up and then it holds your phone. So you can stream without using your hands. And a lot of them had like the stabilizers. A too. lot of them had stabilizers, like tripods. It looked like Twitter in real life. And then I kept watching and I was literally horrified. It was like, okay, obviously <laughs> protest all you want. Like, yes, like that's a terrible thing to do. Yeah. And like, I understand why they're protesting the restaurant, but they were attacking everyone <laughs> walking out of the restaurant, like literally groups of girls. They'd be like, are you pro-? like, imagine walking out of a restaurant having no idea that people oh. are outside protesting and then 10 people come up to you with cameras that are streaming to like TikTok and Twitch and YouTube. And they're like, are you happy? Are you proud? Was it worth it? Following them to their cars, like not letting them back (laughs) out. I was like, this is literally crazy. They were yelling at the security guy who was not from America. They're making fun of his accent. They were calling him the R word. They were, Mm -hmm. the guy was literally like, I feel bullied. I feel uncomfortable. And they're like, oh, you feel uncomfortable. You feel uncomfortable. Are you even from America? Are you from America? And I was like, what is going on here? Heroes. Yeah, I'm like, you guys went so far left, you went right. Uh, it's, it, I mean, it was it's scary. not funny. I get whatever they're trying to accomplish, but thinking of if I had been there. No, yes. I was like, imagine if I was watching this and Aaron walked out and they were like, oh, would, how dare you? I would be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I know. And I would be a little tipsy, so I would fully engage. Oh, Knowing fully. myself, I would be like, proud of what? <laughs> yeah, no, I'd be like, oh my God, Aaron. Like if I was watching it, it's so funny. Because I, I didn't know that. No. You think that I go to every restaurant in LA and research like all of the controversy behind it. Like I can't imagine any business <laughs> owner is a good person. They're not. Like, it, do you go to Coachella? Like it's terrible. You know what I mean? It's like, yes. I understand the the 
you have every right to protest, but yes. what they were doing was not protesting. They were literally screaming at people <laughs> as they were. Le- it was it was Twitter in real life, and it was the scariest thing I've ever seen yeah. because in my mind, the whole like attacking people mentality is strictly online, and it's no, it still goes with the same concept of like yelling at people, not knowing whether or not they have the information exactly, and it's like. I have never heard that. Why I would did, I know that? I had that? no idea either. I'm not following the Danny Masterson case. Like, yeah. how would I know, like, these close, intimate details? Like, the only thing I saw about that was stuff in TMZ. And most of it was involving, like, Ashton and Mila because they are A-list celebrities. Yeah. You know? And, like, that's the extent of yeah. what... It's a disgusting thing. Like, why would I want to consume that content? Like, yeah. I'm glad he's locked up. But I do feel like now I want to, like, look into this a little it's bit. It's crazy. I feel like they do it on the weekends. <laughs> So if you no, go I back, mean, I, I mean like the extent oh, of to which the woman this who, is all happening. Like how involved is she? Right, like right, those right. kinds of things. I think they've been close like most of Danny's life, and I think yeah. he would like go there and like put substances in women's drinks oh, at to, that at bar. It's been around for a really long time. Yeah, and I don't know if she. But then I was like, I heard in the background like owners have switched. Like I don't know the full story. Like yeah. I don't know, but it was just like the craziest reality check I've ever seen in real life that was Twitter. Like, yeah, no, Carly called me. I was like, Aaron, this is insane. Yeah. I mean, I told, obviously I, again, I keep saying this cause I just don't want people to think I don't like think it's right that they're like, I think it's fine that they're protesting it. Like you should protest things that you don't, you know, whatever, yeah. but that's not protesting. That's literally. You're harassing people. You're literally. Who, like, may or may not know about what's happening. Yes. And the poor security guy. Like you're literally hate criming him to high heavens. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? What's the point of this? Like, I think that they would maybe. He's also like. Listen more if you weren't attacking people. In prison. Yes. Like he's already. I know, but they're telling people like, don't support this restaurant because I, this woman yeah, I know, owns I know, it. I know, I know, I know. That's their point. I would like to look into this myself. Well, we'll go to La Poubelle. <laughs> I'm like, we'll I'm try to get on the stream. <laughs> I just start crying. Well, and then I saw this like one lady we walk start, out. We, we then flip the script. We become the people outside. Yeah. Are you proud of yourself? Attacking people. No, it was literally like replies on a tweet. It was so scary. And this one lady walked out during it. And it, it's so crazy. Like anytime anyone would exit the restaurant, everyone like, oh, here comes another person. It was like, they'd all get excited to like berate them. It's so weird. It's Twitter. It's what it is. It's the internet on in real life now. Um, but this one lady like walked down. She was kind of kind of older, like probably in her forties, fifties, and she was like looking around, like confused, and like walked the other way. And they were like, "You're not famous. You like you think you're famous because all we ha- we're all like filming you. No, you're not famous at all. You are you proud to go in there? It was just so weird. I was like, you guys are angry at it's who? So who crazy. are we mad like, at here? If I had walked out. I would have no idea about this until you told me. Like, I literally, <laughs> I know. Like, yeah, you're proud. Like, I had my martini. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so happy. I know. I have my garlic French fries. That's my order. I get garlic yeah. fries and martinis. Espresso martinis? I forgot. It depends on how tired I am. <laughs> so if you go to La Poubelle. I'll normally start with an espresso martini and then switch to just a vodka mm. martini. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I get the garlic fries because I yeah. need a little substance I love to a keep garlic me fry. going because it's just it's far too late. It's far too late. I really want to like look into this because yeah. I do feel bad if this person is like, I'm yeah. like giving them money. There are so many bad places in LA. You know. Like owner management wise. Yeah. Like horses is fully up and running. And this man literally oh. had sex with cats. Yeah. And maybe has killed people in Colombia or whatever he was wherever he was. Asia. Asia, sorry. I thought it was Colombia. Yeah. Um yeah, so that was um so scary. <laughs> I was like, I wish no one was sleeping. I was like, Oh my god, I wish he was awake. <laughs> like I need to show somebody this, well, this then, is like, insane. I was like, You gotta send it to me. And then she, they went live like another night. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, they were going live well, every guys, like, during the weekend. Two weeks from now. Tune in on a Friday of next next week. <laughs> Emo night, March 1st. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, it's already my birthday almost. I'll have to go and see if they're there. I do like when they um do the Scientology building. Yeah, that's so this group of people normally is doing that. There's like, they're like outside of Scientology yeah. centers because there's one on Hollywood Boulevard and they are just trying to recruit tourists who mm-hmm. like pr- most likely like don't really speak well um, don't really speak well English. <laughs> Good job, Aaron. I can't even speak well English. <laughs> um, uh. And th- th- it's funny because it like scream like the word like devil or like whatever in like another language because they're like can tell that these people don't really understand oh, what's happening. Oh, oh, but they will like be like, this is a cult. This is a cult. Yeah, I watched that. And yeah. like, those are funny to me. Yeah, those are the, I think it's the same group of people. 
That is so funny. But I'm like, you guys, what are you doing? Like, yeah. do that to Scientology, that's fine. <laughs> like, don't yeah. do it to these customers at a restaurant that have no idea what's going on. Yeah, like, the, the, you are actively, like, trying to help people, not, like, get brainwashed and, like, yes, have to, like, doing a good thing. give over their life savings. Like, you are now yelling at people who, like, most likely don't even know what you're talking they about. They literally just went and got a drink and a burger and yeah. they don't know why there's a ton of cameras in their faces. It's just so scary. I'm like this is a weird situation to be in just in this world right now because mm-hmm. so many of these people probably don't want to be on the internet either. Yeah. And it's like, where do we draw the line at like filming and people? they probably left the restaurant and were like, what the fuck no. was that about? And still have no idea Aaron, when they were f- why it was happening. When they were following the group of girls, I was like, good luck. Like a bunch of people following a group of girls oh, at yeah. night, walking were to their guys? car, most of them. <gasps> there were a couple girls, but they were like just so aggro about it. Like so mean. And they like followed them to the car, wouldn't let them back out in reverse. And they like threw a bottle at them or something. <gasps> it was just crazy. What the it hell? It was, you guys, it was crazy. It was like a South Park episode. <laughs> I felt like I was watching South Park. Oh my God. Imagine I just dreamed it and I thought it was real. <laughs> <laughs> Because it was like so late at night. No, I I, I watched it the next night. I can validate. Okay, um, thank you. But the, the, that night there was, <laughs> there was like a fire truck and. Oh yes, that night got cops. crazy. Somebody like hit some cars and ran over a person. I don't yeah. know. It was crazy. It was, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go for research purposes. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, if I don't know if I'll be going or not yeah. yet. I mean, I don't know my plan, but yeah. if I, for some reason I'm watching live and you walk out, I will screen record so you can see yeah. it later. Cause who knows? I know. I wonder what Maybe time, you they, can use it in court what if, time they start. <laughs> um, it's so funny. Cause the first time I was watching, it was like somebody kept commenting. That was another streamer. I was like, tune in Saturday at 8 PM or something like that. <laughs> there were a lot of, there was like 600 people watching and they all oh, yeah. comments like, how is this person? How is this person? Like, where is blah, blah, yeah. blah. And I'm like, oh, so it's like, yeah, truly a, the same people. Yeah, it's like a community of streamers. I would love to like walk out and like have that then conversation with them being like, well, I can't say it now, but I'd be like, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, what is this for? And then be like, okay, but like you do realize that a lot of people coming in and out of here probably don't know that information. So like, why are you attacking What's them? your purpose here? Yes. I think it would be more beneficial if you were like, hey, did you know? Yeah, I will say they were also doing that. Like oh, okay. people would come up to them and ask, but it was mostly people who were like walking by. It wasn't people that are relieving the yeah, restaurant. Like on the street who were probably like going to UCB or birds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or sushi shop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I forgot what I was gonna say, but insane. Very interesting. Very crazy. Um, and fuck Danny Masterson. Obviously. That's so sad. That's when was such a good show. I loved Hyde. You no, know, I like never watched it. Ugh, I was like, fiend but what, rape apologist i know i literally am so clip that <laughs> that mm, never mind we're not gonna get into that okay <laughs> <laughs> tj was showing me i was just gonna talk i feel like did we talk about this on good influences like where's the line like music and artist or like I art think and so, artist. yeah but we connie like put out his new album i guess okay didn't know that yeah and we were listening to a song this morning. He's like, have you heard this song? It's so funny. And he literally just says like, oh my God, what the fuck is it called? This is one of those times I wish the door was open so he could <laughs> yell. Kanye West, big butt. Big butt. Beautiful. It's the funniest song, Carly. Big butt. Okay, it's called Back to Me. And Ooh. like he just keeps repeating beautiful big titty butt naked women don't fall out of the sky that's it but he like he says like a few other things but like (laughs) for the most part that's the whole song but he says it so fast he's like beautiful big titty butt naked woman (laughs) oh my god wait didn't he have another song that was like that but it was like shit oh or something like that i don't know what it was but it was something yes he did i think that was on the album that was like that mauve color he's so scary so scary i watched a video i don't remember when it was it was like last week or maybe the week before when I was trying to find stuff for this episode, Mm -hmm. not this episode, but one of our other episodes and a TMZ reporter was like filming him on her iPhone, like asking him questions and he ripped her phone out of her hand. Yeah. And then he, (laughs) it would be like way different, but he had on like a black ski mask. I know. (laughs) And he's just like screaming at her in this black ski mask. And I was like, this is so insane. And then at the end of it, he's he's like, come work for me. I'll pay you triple what TNT's paying for you. But anyway. Well, I can just get through my stuff quick because I need to know about your, oh, perfect. all of your stuff. Okay, so I actually watched Super Bowl for the first time in my entire life, pretty much. Um, Didn't know what was going on, but it was fun. But I think just because of lore of it all, like I wouldn't care. You know what I mean? No, 100%. If it was just like, 
I other think viewership memes. was probably up. Do it was a think highest it was like watched. the sweetest TikTok. It was like this man and I'm assuming his dad. He was probably like in his late thirties. The dad is like in his sixties. And they were like this year and it was the two of them and they were watching the Chiefs um in the Super Bowl. They're like huge fans. And like you just it's like POV them watching the Super Bowl. And then they win and they're like hugging each other and so excited. And then it was like verse this year. And it was like a whole family, like four little girls, the wives, Aww. the grandpa, and then like when the Chiefs won, they were all like in an Aww. upper. It was so sweet. I mean that's literally what happened. It's truly bringing families together. It is um why, people are so fucking like weird about it. Like why do you care? I don't know. And it's funny. I saw Harry Styles went to some football game in the UK. Do we think he got hair plugs? Probably. That's what the people on the streets are saying. Yeah. I mean, probably. If, if you have money and you're a guy and your hair is yeah. eating, like you're going to get hair plugs. I just like haven't um, really studied his hairline well enough to know. Yeah. But I saw I saw that that's what the streets were saying. Yeah. I bring this up because some I saw a tweet that was that said, Harry was at this game, football game. How come no one's mad about this? <laughs> because he's a man yeah and it's actual football <laughs> not american football it's different ah, no i just thought it was I'm stuck very funny yeah. i also saw a really funny tweet and it was like how did liberals win the football <laughs> how did liberals win football out of all this because now conservatives no. are like fuck football yeah. blah 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 i saw a tiktok of a girl who was like just wondering if um sydney sweeney were dating Travis oh Kelsey. yes there'd be no complaints yeah <laughs> let's be honest how would these men be reacting they'd be like oh them titties up there yeah They're like football 100 no, percent. they just don't like taylor because she's like better than everyone on earth yeah um this sounds really boring but i wanted to i have a, a purpose for bringing this up so okay. one of my hubcaps is like missing uh -oh. like it just isn't on my tire Did i don't you know just like i don't know if someone stole it i don't know if it fell off like i don't know what happened <laughs> and i was like okay cool recently like, missing right so i went to see i went on tesla's website so i was like well i kind of want it because all my other tires have it on you can take them off but they're better for the battery yeah because it like oh. does stuff with the air and the tire so it saves your battery technology yeah, um but guess how much the hubcaps are like five hundred dollars twenty five dollars on <gasps> tesla's website i was like this is gonna cost hundreds of dollars yeah twenty five dollars i just thought that was shocking I guess it well no one's like I mean it is just $500. no I know I was like it's gonna cost me thousands like I was like it's gonna total my We're car just girls we don't know shit about cars <laughs> I know twenty five bucks and then just I was like try to find one on eBay <laughs> <laughs> I know it'd be more of an asshole on eBay yeah. well because I went to I like a link came up it was Amazon and they sell four for like a hundred something oh. and I was like oh well I don't need four yeah. but that's crazy it's only a hundred for four so did you get it not yet but oh. I asked I was I told Nolan I was like I feel like it's like how am I gonna put on he's like well I'll put it on but also need some nuts and bolts no he's like it just pops on. <laughs> I was like, what? We don't know what I don't anything. know shit. Me? Thank God I don't have a battery in my car. Um, obviously, watch, watch what happens, which we will get into, which yep. was so fun. Yep. Um, we started Love on the Spectrum. Oh, I thought you were going to say Love is Blind. No, I will start that, but I want to wait till there's more episodes. I don't like waiting. There's like seven. And three more come out tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'll start sometime soon then. Have you watched it? <sighs> yes. Okay. Well, I'll, obviously. Be caught, I'll be caught up next week. God. Um, next week? Well, when we record, <laughs> you freak. Oh. It was so funny because Nolan's never watched it. And he wa we watched the first Love episode. Love on the Spectrum? Yes, yes. Love on the Spectrum and the new season. And he, after it finished, I was like, so what do you think? He's like, I felt every emotion. He's like, I cried. Aww. I laughed. I was sad. And it's so true. It's like, you feel everything. And that's why I really like it. It's I've so I've never watched. Cute. You're watching it when I came over for emo night one time in like your bedroom. Maybe you weren't like paying attention to it, but I it was probably definitely just on. threw it on. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen like. I think it was the one where I dress up as a nun. Uh, yeah, that probably tracks. Yeah, I remember. I don't know why I remember that specifically from my I files really, like of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> what am I storing up there? I don't okay, know. fun. Um, I started crocheting. <laughs> just like fully, we saw. <laughs> fully in my grandma era. <laughs> so fun. TJ was just like, "What's Carly doing now?" I'm just trying to find up a, on his a hobby, web. you know, yeah. and the hobby hopper. Yeah, I mean, I'm still doing diamond art. Yeah. I still like it, but it's hard. My, I feel like I have arthritis in my- um, From the crochet. Not really, it just like makes your wrist sore because you're not used to like mm. all the little movements. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to try it because so many people were like, I think you'd really enjoy it. And they sell these really cute starter packs that are called Woobles. Yeah, I feel like um, Brooke does them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I, I, I remember when I saw yours, I was like, oh, Brooke has like a bunch of these little things. Yeah. 
Um, so that was fun to do. Mine well, maybe you'll get good enough where you can knit us sweaters. <laughs> yeah, right. I think that's like one of the hardest things. But I'm gonna try to do like a little dish. I, apparently, it's really easy to do like oh, a little cute, like a whole dish holder. rags. No, like oh. dish rags. Okay, with yarn. I don't know. TJ's mom has those. Yeah. Her like sister knits them. <laughs> I'll probably do it for like a month and then be over it. But whatever, it's fun. I like it so far. You can say you did it. Yeah, and I've always been curious because like seeing Matt knit- knitting and stuff. I'm like, how the fuck? Like, what are these Does loops he doing? Do that. I think. Hmm. Do I've they have knitting club anymore? I don't think I've seen that in a What's while. What's the tea? Oh, I also have some tea that we can talk about on Good Influences next time, but I can bring it up now. Yeah. If you want to know breaking news, Mike got kicked out of their book club. <laughs> they are so dramatic. They are so fucking. That's so fucking Because I don't think he finished any of the books. But like, <laughs> something who like cares? That. Matt takes I it know, but so they, seriously. That group takes it seriously and I respect it, honestly. I don't think I do. I respect it. I think it's just like, come when you want finish a book when and you want that's I why couldn't i imagine kicking someone that's out. why we're in hours yeah and i'm scared to start reading again because i haven't read since like october <laughs> yeah so well we have a new member who sierra is gonna oh, join Slay. she was over here a couple weeks ago and mm-hmm. we were just talking about books and i was like you should join our book club yeah the thing about sierra is like i travel a lot but she travels a lot she's like, like a, she's literally a music manager yeah, yeah. like a, she's like on tour all the time yes yeah so it'll be interesting to see how many um time she can come this is me and you <laughs> but she <and> is <laughs> probably like she reads a shit ton okay. like she reads pr- probably just as much as cheryl god i need to I, i'm what if i can't read now like i'm reading since october i read five books this <gasps> week erin are you like so far back into reading yeah i feel like because there's no good tv i don't feel like like i have tried to start like a handful of shows oh. and i can't like get into any of them except for love is blind loving love is, is it good so far yeah okay i can't wait i'll have to start it um i read so i finally f- i finally finished yellow face before i left for my trip okay that took me so long to get through and i want to say i loved it but it i don't like books that i can't like there's no character that i'm like rooting for right and the main character of this book is just like a absolute like raging narcissist and it was a little triggering for me okay so I, it took a really long time, but I got through and I do think objectively it is like a good book, but I, I'm just not in the right head space for it at this time. Fair. Then I read Never Lie by Frida. Oh, wait, how was that? That was also on my want to read. I'm going to say I didn't love a single <gasps> book I read. Wow. Frida. Not Frida. It, I think Frida was the one I liked the most. Okay. She was the one that wrote Housemaids, if you yep. follow along it for is, a book it's talk. It's like literally the easiest, the easiest books to read by far. And they're like thrillers for the yeah, most like part. So page turner, easy writing, yeah. like you'd be a little dirt dirt and you have no problem. Like it was a perfect like little segue after a book that I was like, I can't deal with this right now. Okay. Um, I liked it. Okay. I think I gave it like four stars or something. Then I read Love on the Brain, which is another one of those like, Oh, stupid chemistry fucking, theory yeah, lo- fucking beach tree. Yeah, like <laughs> I can't like all those books. I can't. It's lo- um, love theoretically, love hypothesis. Yes, those ones. Um, it was probably what my was least again? favorite of the three. Love on the brain. Must be love. Quite frankly, like not enough smut. Oh, like there's like only a couple scenes. Um, <sighs> then I read bad. tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, and you didn't like it. I the more I sit on it, the less I'm liking it. Wow. It, what about it? Well, it I'll, let you, was I'll, I'll let you finish. So, it, like the whole time I was reading, I just had a pit in my stomach because it was so upsetting. Oh yeah, that's probably why I liked and it. And so many people were, yeah, I know. No, <laughs> after I finished, I was like, this makes sense why Carly liked it. There's yeah. like not really any like, like I am a romantic comedy yes. book person. Yes. Like this was like a very serious, like gut-wrenching. It was like friendship and heartache and uh the whole culture thing. and I, everything so many people dm me and they were like i sobbed and i was like i didn't cry i just was oh. like pissed <laughs> okay <laughs> i i gave I it four it. stars because like objectively i think it's a good book but yeah, then yeah, like yeah. a couple days later i was like i don't like this i know i know where you're coming from because yeah. it doesn't really have like a specific plot you're like yes. trying to get yeah. through and or I like figure out be. huh like i feel like it oh, starts yeah. really good and i'm so interested and then yeah. the whole t- it also like not for nothing takes place in boston right and los angeles so i was right. loving I that. Forgot like, about that so many things i could like relate to and understood perfectly but there it just needed like she she did what she needed to do 
She keeps you hanging on by a little yes. thread for then like literally nothing to happen. Yes, but it's, I mean, well, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I think that- No, I think like, a, I think I'm minority here. Yeah, I mean, well, it doesn't matter because like so many books have like five stars and I hated them too. So it's like, yeah. it's literally just about you rated, perception. Uh, you rated it five star. So oh. you rated it five star. Because like once I rated it, it shows that like your friends yeah, who've yeah, read yeah. it. I think Cheryl did too. Probably. Because she like recommended it to me. I just was so upset. I literally, I had Aaron to, needs a uh, cheesy plot. I, no, I had to start reading another book immediately after because I was like, I'm so upset right now. Okay, <laughs> what was the next book? Then I read. Oh, I. Is oh somebody was on your story? Secret fucking perfect marriage. Okay, why were you upset about this book? I saw in your story today. You're like, this made me mad. First, of I've all, never read it by the way, so I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. I have. Yeah, it's literally on your Goodreads. <laughs> oh wait, wait, what is it called? The Perfect Marriage. It's about this woman who's a lawyer, whose husband- I feel like I get two titles confused. So maybe I accidentally, sorry, continue. This woman is a lawyer and her husband gets um, like put into prison for murdering his mistress. I don't, I've never read this book. You marked it four stars on Goodreads. Um, it must've been, what the fuck was it called? It wasn't a perfect <laughs> marriage. It was like, I know, I know, yeah, I know. Okay. This one was about like- This is the one Matt read too. Yes, I haven't fuck, read it. So no. I must've like fucked up on Goodreads. <laughs> Because I read one so similar oh. to the title, but it ha it was about like um, people who are married who decide to start dating other people, but not telling each other like when they're okay, going well, on dates. You gotta dates. go fix that. Yeah, I have You course. gotta go fix it on your Goodreads. You're giving people- Well, let like, me hear Let me hear why you didn't like it and then maybe I'll fix there it. There were just like, and I'm not a person who judges an author by their writing. Like I couldn't care less. The dumber, the better in no, my yeah. opinion. No, we have fully set on good influences. Like we would rather, <laughs> we asked the guys, we're like, would you rather read a book with beautiful writing, but terrible plot yeah. or a terrible plot? or a good plot, but terrible yeah. writing. And they were like, beautiful writing, terrible plot. And we were like, it could be a run on sentence for us and I don't care. Yeah, there were just so many things that happened that I would question. Like, so basically like she was representing this guy who was her husband who had been cheating on her for 16 months. And so then she found out that he murdered people or he murdered his uh, mistress like through the police because they called her in. Oh shit. But then she was like, okay, I'm going to represent him because she's like the fucking nation's best lawyer okay. or whatever, defense attorney. Sounds good so far. Yeah, you would think. But then like all of these things happen and I'm like, why wouldn't she, like a policeman fucking beats her because the policeman, <laughs> yeah. And then she's just like, it's fine. Classic. So there were like so many things that were happening like that that I'm like, why is like no one being questioned oh, here? Did Matt like and, the book? I don't know. I wanted to talk to him about it. And then it was like the ending that really pissed me off because it was just like such an easy out for the author I felt. Oh, and there were a lot of like red herrings in the book. That's the one thing that, pissed me the fuck off about never lie there was like one red herring that like she was trying to make it so obvious like who the killer was or uh -huh. whatever that like you just the whole time or suspect like it was like over, that was like housemaid too. over the top yeah it was like housemaid to a point where i was like can you tone it the fuck down <laughs> was it isn't housemaid the one that was broken into two parts and it was like the first perspective uh, and you I, think someone's wrong and then it's, or someone's yeah, I the killer. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Was this one in two parts as well? No, okay. uh, it was, um, no, I think it was like just from her perspective the whole okay. time. But like that really annoyed me. I was like, you're making it so obvious like that you're trying to make it look like oh, this yeah. situation. Okay. Um, but th I would say like out of all of the books I read, like that one was probably my most liked, but I don't I think that I like- I fucked up that bad on Goodreads. Sorry, continue. <laughs> I need to see what I read. Um, yeah, the perfect marriage, the ending really pissed me off. <laughs> I was just like, okay. Like I literally rolled my eyes and was like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's the this worst. This is so the, annoying. Yeah, I know when the ending is like- just, Like the plot holes, like, and I don't even care about stuff like that, but it was just like too- <laughs> too annoying <laughs> um no i don't have it on here yeah you do i i read the arrangement that's the one that's just like it or I, not just like it but that's what i get confused by it popped up when i did it i'm maybe in the past i accidentally did it and then like undid it or something because i realized it was a wrong huh. book i don't see it on my goodreads i'm fully gaslighting you <laughs> yeah you are what the hell i swore it popped up no i don't see it I, I i could have accidentally done it because i kept getting them confused for some reason i, mm. I think i read one of the word marriage in it but there's so many books like that whatever huh well geez so are you like well fuck reading <laughs> no like, no i'm like i need to read a good book i think i'm gonna start a court of thorn and roses just oh, to say shit. i did it okay 
well it's yeah being it's shoved down my fucking throat no, so like might same. as well and, and you I'm, have it yeah and i'm in like a a time where reading is a passion again so um i think i'm just gonna do it see i'm like not mentally there i, so I feel like i'll have to force do myself for you i know i just hate feeling forced but i want to do it it's just gonna take a push to get into it well okay like so anything. we're gonna read i think it's gonna be like so stupid and easy mm-hmm. what is it the, mm. him and i love you and him <laughs> <laughs> me and him that's my whole world <laughs> um it is things that we, he told me things we never got over again. <laughs> things he told me i love you and him. if he had been with me i was so close <laughs> so close it's a new york number one new york times bestseller which what does that mean rating on goodreads okay scary the other one you sent has like it was like 4.5 the education one yeah that and that's a memoir so i was like i don't know but apparently it reads like a fiction i feel like this dumb one will be a good way to get back in we just need like a dumb book this is why i couldn't do frida because i was like yeah i just fucking dealt with her no i just like had it on my saved (laughs) (laughs) i look i loved housemaid but i will say she did run me the wrong way when the sequel to housemaid was the exact same plot so i was like is is this every book i will say though it's like they're good easy books to read and like i didn't dislike obviously there's a twist there's always a twist i didn't dislike that it was just like uh, the schematic schematics of it all yeah i always say schematics on accident i'm just a little semantics i don't know yeah schematics what are schematics probably not a word <laughs> it might be why do i have a podcast i, I don't know i don't know oh, and when i was reading tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow i literally was like what are half of these words <laughs> really <laughs> there's so many words that i was like what is that Oh, I wish I knew because like I can point them out. I'll go in and highlight. Okay. Like Mike. Um, oh, yeah. I just need to read like a book that I'm like, yeah, I did. Love on the Brain was like that for me, but I was like, this is just a dumb book. It's like I the can't. perfect palate cleanser because they're so stupid. <laughs> to me, it's like torture. Yeah. I, but that's I we don't differ. like those books. I know. Yeah. I'm just like, uh, what's the point of this? Like, I'm not, get, I, it's so stupid because it's like, in my mind i'm like what am i getting from this like it's not interesting to me yeah. but i think be with the thrillers also what am i getting from it but it's like it's keeping me turning the pages like yeah. that's what i like i like the um dumb romantic ones because it's the exact same storyline like every time yeah every so, time. like i know going into I hate it, it like what i'm getting <laughs> yeah but just in like a different perspective from like different characters yeah no i'd rather read about rotting bodies or something yeah yeah that's fair. Anyways, how was Watch What Happens? <laughs> um, it was good. So crazy. I know. It was so insane to see it on TV. Like I just TJ Morgan up there. I couldn't see because they sat me behind a pole. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes. Wait, was so what was so... the experience from like getting there? Okay, so we went to like a little place before. I had two glasses of natty wine. Ooh. Um, so I was she like- She was feeling, ripe and ready. I was like, perfect. What time do they film this at? Like at night? Nine. Oh. So it's live. Got it um and then we get to this oh my god it was so embarrassing we stayed at a hotel that was like they're like this hotel is really close so like we were like great we'll just stay there and we can get it at like a discounted rate so we just stayed there the whole time we were in new york do they pay people to fly out for watch what happens i have no idea so tj wasn't like uh, no 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 maybe no, like the main cast or something i don't i feel like it's in no, their contract i think it's in their contract like they have to do it but what about like the extra guest maybe they're just in new york or something already yeah depends on who it is i yeah. feel like they probably don't sorry tandon i was just curious about that um and so we they like book a car service to pick you up to bring you to watch what happens so we get in the car i haven't even finished buckling my seat belt and the driver's like we're here oh and i was like ha 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 <laughs> oh you got a i got a car he, and- it literally was three three steps up oh my God, why weren't they just like just walk <laughs> because i don't think they i think that they just do it for everyone yeah. so they like didn't know we were staying oh and you know there. there are some people who come they're like and, no i need a car no, of course and well i'm like yeah you have housewives and like six six and in, six inch louboutins yeah but i was like i'm so sorry like i'm mortified <laughs> you apologize <laughs> yeah i did i was like i'm this is so embarrassing was the driver did he think it was funny or uh, they yeah or? he was just like well i mean whatever yeah but i was like this is so embarrassing hilarious it's like when you post me something you don't realize it's so close oh my god oh my god it's so embarrassing because it's like we're perfectly capable of walking three feet up the road and it was 
but then we get so there. It's fine, you were a celeb that night. You're right. And there was a whole line of people outside. So we're like, okay, it's oh, obviously cool. this place. And then this girl was like, oh, they were like, we're the guests, blah, blah, blah. She brought us up. You go up this elevator. It's like a pretty big room. So I don't really know how they get the audience. I'm assuming it's like game shows and stuff. You just like put mm -hmm. your name on a list. But so they have like a waiting area that has a bar and like a little step and repeat for all of those people. And it was really interesting because they have to go over like during watch what happens they will play all these little games mm -hmm. and so they have to like teach the audience what game what the games they'll have to yell are so like you could hear them doing that um and that's all like blocked off basically by like curtains okay so that they don't see the guests mm -hmm. i'm assuming but so then we walk around and it's like a pretty big area where um the guests of the guests can sit and like watch the show on a monitor and it's like a little lounge area there's a step and repeat and then you go in the back and there are three green rooms oh my god we we got the smallest one, but it was the best one because it had bejeweled wallpaper <gasps> and cool. a photo of Dorinda. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, this is the one. Um, they brought us our drinks. They were like, what can we get you guys to drink? And they had like a little person come over and bring us our drinks. And they all had mazel written on the cups, which was just absolutely obsessed. <laughs> um, what else? That was like pretty much it for like the green room aspect i will say like i was a little bummed i like wish katie was there with us or like we were with sheena someone you like knew like, yeah like and james had met them but like tj like went in to be like hey man like how are you and he's just like hi oh you like, know? And it was no just, like, real yeah yeah it was just like kind of like a bummer because it would have been fun to like mingle yeah if it was like uh, sheena or katie it yeah been we would have been like so having a really fun time yeah so that kind of um was a little bit of a bummer but also like whatever like i wouldn't expect anyone to want to hang out <laughs> um sure. but it was uh, um you don't watch southern hospitality but the other um person on the show with james was maddie from southern hospitality and then an, a couple of the other people from the show were there i feel oh. like they were filming the reunion or something and oh, that's why okay. she was there makes sense um but joe from southern hospitality was so nice like was kept talking to tj like was just like genuinely like a little sweetie pie and then another guy on the show his name is oshin he has an only fans oh the milk guy yes <laughs> and i was like oshin i was after the show i was like i would buy your only fans because like maddie made a little like nudge at him being like well, no one's paying for that yeah, or whatever. Yeah. and i was like i would pay for it like <laughs> iconic and he was like oh no i can't do a fucking irish accent <laughs> but he like came and gave me a big bear hug and i was like Aww. king um but prior to that i was standing in the like living space area it's probably like 10 minutes before the show was going to start and literally like andy just walked in walked up to me mm. and i I, I literally i at this point had already had like a vodka soda there two <laughs> glasses of wine he walked up to me and i literally just grabbed my boobs and said oh my god like my <laughs> nipples just got hard <laughs> And he was like, oh. <laughs> I could like totally picture him going, yeah, Well, oh. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, hi. No, if you were to say like, what do you think the first thing I said to Annie Kona be? I'd probably be like, my nipples are hard. Yeah. Well, it was just like my- <laughs> It's just Aaron's what, opening line. That's just what happened. Yeah, it's your opening line to a I lot of I grabbed them and like, he was just like, oh. And then I literally, Carly, I go, you have to come meet my husband. <laughs> so embarrassing oh my god. I, just, I was like oh my god my, like he's gonna die like he wasn't going to be there like anyway. leading him back he's like okay <laughs> oh, you're just like telling grabbing his hand bringing him back no literally and <laughs> then he went into every green room to like say hi to everybody and was very nice he's like short really i um, i would think he'd be very tall he i comes was off taller as a tall, than him <gasps> but on oh, short king. i looked prior to because i was like oh how tall is Andy? Like I never mm -hmm. thought about it. And it says he's 5'8", but that's my height. And I was only wearing like a one inch little kitten heel. Mm, maybe a little light a little bit. And like, bit. I feel like I could have given him a little kiss on his forehead. <laughs> like me? Yeah. <laughs> um. So I wasn't expecting him to be so little, but he was like, oh, so cute. Oh yeah, I can't imagine. He's probably so sweet. But he probably has like a lot of business to do too. Yeah. He seems like he's very focused. He, no, it was like a little intimidating. I was gonna say, yeah. Um, and I feel like they, uh, before he came in, there were other housewives that were leaving one of the green rooms. I think um, they were like Miami housewives or something. So oh. I was like, oh, did they just like pre-record another show? Like he's probably exhausted. Totally. And I also was like, oh, the Southern Hospitality cast is here. Like, did they film their reunion today? Yeah. Like he definitely seemed a little um, sleepy Joe. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to go on a little tangent, but I said this on Joe's podcast and he made it a clip, which is fine because I said it. But I was like, I don't understand how Andy Cohen can like wear it at the time to like watch all these shows and do all these reunions. And of course, all the comments are like, Carly's so dumb. Like she doesn't know how TV works. Of course, I know how TV works because people are like, obviously, like people write it for him or like he has an in-ear or whatever. And I'm like, I, I understand that. And I agree with that. But when you watch these reunions, I feel like Andy can go so into detail. No, he of like, watches all of yes, the show, of he questions. And of, them. of course, that's his job. But he also does so many other things. Yeah. I'm like, there are literally a thousand shows he must have to be watching. Yeah. No, and they're all, all on I at the same time. time. He watches yes. them. 100%. I mean, it's hard for like a plebeian to watch them all. Like he's so busy. How is he doing that? Doing the reunions? It is his job. I understand that. He needs to be watching them. But how? Where's yeah. the time? Anyways. The internet is idiots. So... Well, I, so think I, that I think that's like, no, I think that's like very valid. <laughs> Thank you. And I've always said that. I'm like, how the fuck does he know about every shot? I know it's his job, but still it's like, but he has so many jobs. Yeah. The man is a hustler. Yeah. He's like the Kim K of no, literally a Bravo. reality TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bravo. Um, You're bringing him back to me, TJ. They met. It was great. And then I got carted off to go on the stage and then I got sat behind a pole that was dir- I could see Andy perfectly in the guests, but it was completely obstructing my view of TJ. Morgan. Oh, no. <laughs> so I watched like a lot of it on the screen, oh, but I want to watch it at home just to yeah, like yeah. see. Oh, it was so fun watching it at home. It was so funny. Like Andy was the way he pronounced our last name, Katracha. which is like. <laughs> Honestly, the correct way to say it in Italian. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh God, so that was funny. I mean, I knew that because I'm really Italian. Yeah. So um, I was going to tell you that actually. When he asked them, when he was like, <laughs> what's like the biggest emo night thing or whatever? And TJ was like, my chemical romance. And uh-huh. he was like, that makes sense. And I'm like, Andy, you have no fucking idea <laughs> no who idea. my chemical romance no is. Idea. Like icon- an iconic response. Just that makes that sense. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it immediately moves on. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to... Oh, the whole experience just being there because you watch it every week so it's probably crazy to be there is it smaller in person i feel like those things are always so much smaller than you think it honestly wasn't i think i had an understanding of the size okay. just because like they always pan to the people sitting yeah. and it's like 10 people so i'm like it's got to be like a little studio space it wasn't that small okay um if anything i probably would have expected it to be a little bit smaller mm-hmm. but it was so cute and he was so nice while they, I don't know if they put it on the show, but like during a, I think it was during a commercial break and he like got, it was funny, like watching what he does during the commercial What does he breaks. do? Like the first commercial they cut to, he immediately just pulled out his cell phone, didn't even engage with James and Maddie. See, I like noticed that like right before they cut, yes. will do that. And I'm just like, is he like awkward to be around? I think he's just so busy. And he's probably just like, I need this time to like. Yes. And Check my so Twitter. he also it's 9 p.m. Like he's probably like talking to his fucking nanny. Like, yeah. who knows? Yeah. But he didn't do that for long. He just like immediately went on his phone, was like st- very stone cold doing something. Then someone just brought over a bunch of the daddy diaries books. And then he just started signing the daddy diaries <laughs> books. Then See, he goes over to so TJ busy. Morgan to take photos oh. with them. Um, But that was so interesting for me to watch because I was like, what? is he doing yeah and then, like the next time he would like he talked to oh, them okay i think it's literally just like he's still working he no totally do all of these things so what's like james doing during the commercial break him and maddie were chatting oh okay everyone like i feel like that's pretty normal yeah what i would think would happen but i just uh, assumed that they would all like the three of them would like gossip no totally <laughs> <laughs> he did interact with them like during other commercial oh, okay, breaks okay. but like the first one i was like oh my god he like doesn't even care about that <laughs> but i'm like he's working yeah he, they literally just brought him over a pile of books and he's just no that's so fun iconic. i wish i wish i could have seen it i know maybe one day we'll go back yeah maybe, maybe one, one day. day tj will be sitting on the chair yeah he'll be i'll manifest the that vpr star yeah <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's gonna make it past this season i was wondering that i think so i think the season will probably get really big ratings because and views because people are curious yeah. how sandoval is going to be incorporated in the season and they're They'll get another season and then it'll be done. I think so. Yeah. I don't know about Ariana though. I could see her being like, I'm done with this. I don't know. I know she's a star. She is. It was interesting. Do you watch the after shows of Vanderpump at all? No, I see clips on TikTok, but I never like watched it, watched it. I've been, well, the past couple I've been watching, obviously, because they- Are these new, by the way? Or they do them all the time? I think they started them a couple years ago because I've watched them for like Housewives. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, it's just, I wish that they just like came on after the episode or like after watch what happens or something. Yeah. When is it? Or is it only online? I don't know. The only time I've watched it is when I've been like watching 
a Bravo show and then on like Peacock or whatever. And then it's like next up. And then oh, it's just like, it's probably a Peacock exclusive thing. I oh, think that's probably. what it was last year. Now that I'm thinking about it. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, I watch, all but they're pretty on. interesting. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the clips couple. I see, I'm like, Oh shit. Like they really like talk about more stuff and like so Sheena, much. I saw Sheena saying like, Oh, Ariana doesn't really reach out to me anymore. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know, but I don't know. Cause they were just at her Chicago thing. I don't know. I'm sure they're still friends, but it just seems a little weird. It is interesting. And I'm, I feel like they're doing it because they don't want them to like spill all the tea on, on the, the podcast. Pod. Yeah. Cause it like ruins Scandaval <laughs> yeah. kind of, <laughs> but oh, uh, it's really funny. I like, I like them a lot, but were TJ and Morgan really nervous before? No. Wow. I think TJ was just like, I've been like wanting to do this for so yeah. long that now it's just like happening. It's and all Morgan, happening. Morgan just like, didn't know what was going on. <laughs> of course, the whole time. <laughs> He's like, where, what, this is on HGTV. Like, just like not a clue in the world. HGTV. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, yeah, we're going to be selling these books. <laughs> yeah. But then, uh, I mean, it wasn't, uh, I think we left by 10. Mm. Um, they did like little press photos after with like everybody. And then we went to a bar right near our hotel and I got annihilated blacked out <laughs> don't remember okay. i think at one point i was like crying to the bartender made like the best friend with our bartender his name is jackson i love you uh -huh. um and we were just being like little gossip girls. what were you crying about or can you not say um uh, quite honestly i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> Fair. i think i was just like passionately speaking about something uh -huh. and you know when you have like six drinks oh yeah you yeah. just get a little teary-eyed like oh that's you know um but i love him and um Six i wish i remembered more of our conversation <laughs> okay <laughs> me cheryl and anna were just like king like not even paying attention to like the boys who were with us we're like we love him um fully blacked out TJ, i mean as you should tj said i like made him go to like a convenience store to get and i got a philly cheesesteak don't remember that oh was that the night that there was the something photo. on an Octo Buddy. Yeah, it was my Philly cheese steak. <laughs> no, not on your Octo Buddy on your phone. <laughs> Don't remember. He said I was. T I keep. I keep saying that people when they're drunk are like talking like Sims, and he was like, "You were a Sim." <laughs> <laughs> you he was like, "You were literally just laying drunk. in bed saying words." <laughs> and I was like, I don't remember coming home. I wish you would have recorded. We it. were very drunk, but I had a great time, and I Fun. didn't move from bed. The, the next day higher next day i, I didn't mean, like text anyone back i was like i wouldn't people either. need to leave me alone like i'm not well six drinks aaron i'd be in a coma for two days oh no i definitely had more than that oh like oh, how i had two sour beers uh our friend danny had a birthday party i had two sour beers literally felt hung over the next you day like them yeah but they were like eight percent so they were pretty <gasps> crazy how was it going all the way downtown it was a trek did you like it like what? You'd never been you'd never been to that place, right? Oh, Angel I thought City? you meant the drink. I was oh. like, do you know this drink? Like, oh, oh no. Um, I think I went there a really long time oh, ago okay. with like Brendan. Like maybe you came to. I don't tracks. remember, but yeah, I mean it's a really cute place. It's so cute. Yeah. And like there's dogs. It was a brewery, by the way. But I had like two sour beers and I really liked them because they were the one I got was like so sour, which is like my, my favorite. My mouth is like warhead. No, right now. same. Same. And okay. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, oh, sorry, I have Paris. nothing to add there. I was just like saying how Ugh. two drinks will do me in sometimes, but yeah. Yeah, I wasn't well. Yeah. And of course me being the lemon drop queen, I just kept being like, Jackson, uh, lemon drop, lemon drop. <laughs> what is a lemon drop exactly? I've had them with you so many times, but I don't, is that like a full shot or is it like kind of half no, a shot? No, it's like a mixie. That's what I thought. But I think like it's like, it's like liqueur. Okay. I really have no idea. They're delicious. Yeah, though. whatever. We went somewhere one time and they were like, how do you make this? And I was like, bitch, I don't fucking know. I'm not the bartender. <laughs> and I had to Google it. <laughs> and did they make it? Yeah, but it was disgusting. Cause oh. they just used like the like lemon. squeeze yeah. lemon juice and not like, can you please lay down? It's really pouring out there. Oh, it is. I was, I was like so used to it. Sounds like my box fan. <laughs> I fall asleep. Go to bed. I fall asleep. <laughs> Good girl, lay down. Okay. Oh um, man. But that was... New York was fun. Yeah. And then you got to go back to you. I went to um, a couple of New York Fashion Week shows. Oh, right. How were those? Great, because I saw so many Bravo celebrities. Oh, yeah. I was taking like photos and then the guy who was taking my picture, Paige DeSorbo, came up like right behind me. She's from Summer House. Oh, right. And I literally like, I never say anything to anyone, but I was like, I love you so much. Like you look so beautiful. And she was like, oh my God, thank you. She's so <laughs> little and teeny and I love her. Um, and then I went to another show and I saw Uba and Jessel 
from what Real, these names? Real Housewives of New York. Oh, okay. We were standing in like the lobby, just the two of them. The show had completely cleared out. We were like the last ones there and they were just standing there. And I went up to them and I was like, oh my God, like, can't wait to love you guys. Like, can't wait to see what like next season is like. They were so awkward. They were just like, thanks. Oh, Okay. Like, okay, you're not like that famous. <laughs> like, calm down. <laughs> Actually, I'm not excited. Just like trying to be nice. <laughs> and like, why are you acting like a hundred? Uh, there's no one here. Yeah, they're like, there's so many fans here. Yeah, I'm like, so they, overwhelmed. Like, it was like so uncomfortable for them. And I'm like, why are you on TV? <laughs> Maybe they're like, I'm better than you. Yeah, no, it was fully giving that. They are like, you know, rich women in As New they York. should as housewives, I guess. Yeah, but I'm like, you didn't do that good of a job. <laughs> You should have said that after. <laughs> Just so And honestly, upset. you kind of suck. And I was like, I had had like um, a martini oh. before the show. And so then I saw, that's why I was like, I was like, I'll just, they're just standing here alone. Yeah. And so I was like, and I'm like, they probably, not for nothing, they weren't like the fan favorites. Like they probably want a little like <laughs> pick me up. And they're like, actually, fuck you. Yeah. And they were just like, thanks. Don't even look at me. And like so awkward. And I was like, get over yourselves. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> That's the worst when you're like so excited to meet someone. Not that you're yeah, like I wasn't thrilled, even, I was just like, like, oh my God. It's so weird coming from that situation and being like, oh. Uba is so insanely beautiful. Like she was a model. Oh. I think maybe still is. She's just older now. Mm -hmm. um, but she was so beautiful in real life. Well, it's always nice to know when, you know, you see them in real life, they're actually gorgeous. Yeah. Not to knock Jessel. I honestly didn't recognize her. <laughs> well, you know, I was like, I know that's Uba, but like, is that Jessel? I'm not sure. That? <laughs> um, but yeah, those are like. Do you see influencers? No influencers. Oh, wow. I saw like celebrities at the last show I was at. Sam Smith was there. Bella oh my Thorne God. was there because he's dating the designer. Oh. Um, did I see? Oh, Aria. I didn't see a lot of celebrities in real life, but like they've been posting photos and I'm like, I can't believe all those people were there. Oh, I didn't, I, cause it's like a huge room. Yeah. And I only care about the Bravo Labs. Who am of I course, kidding? Yeah. But that was really. Well, fun. It was interesting. I never first fashion to, week. Next, yeah. next year you'll be walking in it. Oh, last night on my flight home, we're boarding the plane. Dave Grohl <gasps> and his whole entire family. Stop. Mm-hmm. And then I texted TJ and I was Economy? like- Economy? Uh, well, I oh, mean, it's from first class, so. but like- Big front seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like bigger economy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and- <laughs> Wait, that's kind of sad. I literally was like, I'm from Utah. sure that- They probably have like a fucking house in Park yeah, City or yeah. Deer Valley or something. Hey, cool. You uh, always see celebrities. I, no, it's like my favorite thing. And I got so excited and I like TJ saying, next, he was literally, it was me, uh, the seat in front of me, and then Dave Grohl. Like we were very wow. close to him. He was in the big front seat, only two seats in front of you. I know. And I was in basic economy. Do you think you would like what? Okay, so I follow this account. It's called Joy of Everything. And it's this guy who used to work for TMZ, but he just does it on his own now. And he doesn't like harass any celebrities, but yeah. he'll just go to places where there's like, he knows celebrities will be. And he'll like, he's really good at talking to them. Hmm. It's like, I wonder if Aaron would like to just watch this. Maybe. I'll send it to you. Paris, are you kidding me? I just let her out. <laughs> Maybe. But sometimes those things make me a little bit uncomfortable. What? When like if the celebrity doesn't know what's happening and they're just like approached and then they're- Oh, no, he them. usually goes to like, it's mostly award shows stuff. Oh. Or like outside of Craig's, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's not like, little... it's not, it doesn't, he's very mature and like, I don't know the word, respectful. Okay. Yes. I'll have to give it a little whirl. Yeah, but it's kind of funny. He's kind of like me where he'll be like, he'll be like, who's that, who's that, who's that? And someone will be like, oh, this is blah, blah. And he'll be like, oh, okay, cool. And then he'll just walk up and be like, hey man, anything new? Like, he's just really nice. Okay, I'll have to watch. Yeah, it's not like in your face. Yeah, but I texted TJ and I was like, Dave Grohl is sitting in front of us. And he just texts me back this emoji. <laughs> the rock on emoji. And I was like, you don't care? Yeah, what? Like, Emo Knight has his ego. <laughs> no, I literally was like, how do you not care that Dave Grohl is sitting literally in front of us? He's like an icon and a legend. Yeah, like, can he DJ he, next emo night? People just like don't care about that stuff. That's crazy. I know. How? <laughs> He's like, an I was icon. like, that's so cool. Like, for me, I'm just like, it's, we're just on a flight with this fucking yeah. like, this, he's probably worth like three hundred million dollars. Like has like his crazy career, an icon, a legend, and like you get you're so lucky to be in the presence of him. And all you can say is rock, rock on. on emoji. Maybe he's just the tired. Disrespect. Maybe he's like, you know what? I'm tired. No, I'm he just like butt. doesn't care. Anytime someone's on our flight, he's always just like, okay. Yeah, and you, you, you and care like, so much. No, and then I spend the whole flight googling them, <laughs> being like, I want to know everything. Like, why? Why was he in Park City? And like, why are they flying into Burbank? Does he live in the Valley? <laughs> You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, but like a humble king, like didn't even fly private. Right, that's what I was thinking. 
Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, the Delta connections are basically private flights. So <laughs> <laughs> um, that was really cool. I, you know me, I love a celeb setting on a plane. Oh, yeah. I never see any celebrities on plane. Well, I guess I don't travel half as much as you I do. Know. That's probably why, too. Paris has seen so many. <laughs> I feel like the only one I've been on a plane with was one of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> it was Jet Suite because they had a re oh. Vegas residency. Yeah. And like when you do Jet Suite, it's like a private little airport hangar. Yep. Um, you just like go through security. You don't even go through security. You like tell them your name. They scan your bag in and you wait on a couch and go on the plane. He had a driver drive him all the way out to the plane right before we took off. So he didn't have to wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. That like, really? It's giving driving two bucks to get to watch what happens live. So embarrassing. But maybe he came from the fucking venue or something. I don't really know. Maybe his assistant checked him in and then he just showed up. Well, you to know be what I mean? fair, like they have that at um, regular LAX yeah. too. If you do that, um, what is it? It's like private suite. Yeah. You have to literally be like a fucking millionaire to do it. Yeah. Um, but they drive you right onto like a regular plane. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do when I go to Omaha, I think. That's yeah. <laughs> why, why would you need to go there? <laughs> um, My parents are going. And so we're going to go to Omaha, I guess sometime this summer. Wait, actually? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Well, because they went last summer too. And they're like, next summer you have to come. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the so, day you'd go back. I think it'll be a little nostalgic, but I'll probably be over in two days, but it's fine. Yeah. How long do you think you'll stay? <laughs> I don't even know how long they're staying. Carly, Nothing's summer unplanned. vacay. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha, Omaha, Nebraska, baby. Rock on. <laughs> Paris, are you our producer? Yeah, she's standing She right keeps looking the in the mirrors. Did you see, um, do you have anything about Vanderpump? Did I? Do I know anything about it? No, are we talking about anything? Yeah, we can recap it. Oh, okay. I'll just bring it up then. Okay. Then. Okay. Oh. Maybe we could do like the same history yep. now. Okay. God, I feel like we've been recording for two hours. We've been recording for an hour and four minutes. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. This day in history. Oh, I can't even believe I'm going to say this, but today is Joe Allen's birthday and we wow. are the same age as him. Oh. Um. It's also Queen Sophie Turner's birthday, which what a juxtaposition Interesting. yeah i wonder how taylor her feels today and her best <laughs> yeah um elliot page corbin blue oh. jennifer love hewitt ashley green jordan peele Jesus. and kelsey Grammer. it is a big day for I birthdays know. I know. paris literally looks like she's producing our podcast i know she's right watching now. us just st standing under the camera okay p you're a good girl and then for some entertainment we've got she looks so perfect by five sauce oh, perfect 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 An absolute hit and old school old school oh the movie yep that was a song was an like, iconic what? masterpiece god it came out 21 years ago 2003 that's right right 21 years mm -hmm. Ew. Mm, no yeah yes <laughs> that's crazy that's so old i know oh my god i know we're at the age where like there's a generation below gen z and they're gen a and they're like making fun of gen z Thank God. It's like Gen Z making from us. It's like going Z. down. No, Nolan was telling me he saw someone, but I think Gen A is only like seven. Like, I don't think they're that old. How come we're called millennials, but everyone else is called by their letter? Because it was the millennium hmm. during our, during our, okay. our time. And like, if you were born in 2000, you're millennial. But we still have the letter too. Huh? Like, are we Gen Y? Oh, I don't know. I think it was, we're just special. No, I know. Uh, like it's and boomers. It's iconic. Imagine boomers just and millennials. Called Gen Y. I know. It sounds cooler. It sounds like we're all TikTok famous millennials. or something. Yeah. yeah. We're better than everyone. I know. We are. Who did I fucking see saying stuff about millennials? That really pissed me off. <laughs> I don't remember. Was this one older than us or younger than us? No, younger. It was Gen Z. Yeah. I mean, it's just like a repeating cycle. Like we made fun of our parents, you know? I know who it was. <laughs> is it someone you can say or no yeah it was tk oh she was on her story is she in gen z yeah but i googled it because she was going hard she what was, was like, she saying i love she was TK. like filming herself she was like oh my god i'm like a millennial this is so embarrassing like how she was like filming herself oh. and i was like bitch you better shut up <laughs> i mean i would say that i though. googled her age she was born in 97 so like just barely a millennial. oh okay She's like almost Take it a back, TK. almost a millennial. Taylor, TK, we have T. Taylor, we have T. We have beef <laughs> that you don't know about. One sided beef. Either was watching like oh, she made like three stories. Oh my god, just shitting on millennials. I mean, and I, I was that like, too. we get it. <laughs> no, we're cringy doggo people. I yeah, get it. but it was like I think you would watch it and be like, okay, like it wasn't that dramatic. <laughs> okay, I'll have to watch. Well, it's probably well, gone now. Yeah, I think so. I'll just ask her to send it to me. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna. 
<laughs> I make one about Gen Z and soft tag her. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Gen Z. it's true though. I get it. That's yeah. why I was so offended. Yeah. You're taking it personally. Um, oh, were you offended? <laughs> I can't believe I watched all of it too. Cause I was like, oh, this is rude. You're like I do that. <laughs> I actually don't. That's how I, like, I never really like film yeah. myself ever. I feel like that's more boomer to like be up here filming. Yeah, I didn't really understand. I just was like, you're being mean. I think boomer is like up We're here. Millennial bullied. is more like to the camera, and Gen Z is like below. Yeah. And you're like, for, you're like the first year of Gen Z, basically. <laughs> so like, you're not yeah. that close. That you're the, you're the be, oldest. <laughs> although it'd be kind of sick to be a millennial. That's like what people say when they're like on that line. They're like oh, a millennial, yeah. like they were. They're good. They got both traits. That's like 96, right? I don't know. Yeah, Zillennial is kind of a slight. I, I think it's like you. 1996. Yeah. It's like you're on the cutoff. That's what I identify as a Zillennial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've got the characteristics. I do. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't really have any news other than, did you see the tea about Billie Eilish shading the TikTokers? Yes. And everyone thinks she's talking about Chris Olsen. And I keep seeing viral. I, support. <laughs> I keep seeing. <laughs> Team Billie. <laughs> well, and I was lolling because I was like. Was he actually there? Oh, I'll get to it. I mean, you gotta catch yes. me up. I I've been reading for yeah. A you've week been out of, out of pop culture. Yeah. Um. No, but I was lolling just thinking about. So she probably knows who Chris Olsen is because of Megan Trainer, and I'm like, could you imagine Billie Eilish listening to Megan Trainer? <laughs> like, what a funny scenario. But he, some news site, you know how they like tweet celebrities and post videos on Twitter at People's Choice Awards oh, or like whatever the pop award show or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So someone did Chris Olsen, and he was wearing like pants a jacket with no shirt underneath and he was like spinning around and literally like went viral to like who is this person like why what's he famous for again like they're being really mean but it's like they obviously i don't know like bryce hall made a video and like of course (laughs) like it's bryce hall but he made a good point he was like people's choice invited tiktokers no well that's the thing is like no one gives a shit about people's choice so they need to invite tiktokers there so that they can promote it well there were some who else is doing weren't it? some like nominated for like podcasts and stuff like that i have no idea i don't but know it's like, i feel like the people's choice of ones. but there's always like, gonna be there's gonna be influencers like a, at, at things like the grammys and totally but like their focal point isn't like like press and stuff isn't like oh my god like let's get pics of these tiktokers at the oscars and the grammys like they care about like the actual famous people like people's choice i feel like is like a you didn't get first second or third place award show like did okay you... that's what i thought too because i was like i i didn't even know it was on no idea yeah that's why i'm like all of these influencers are there because they need people to promote it yeah but there was also like i'm pretty sure chris olson was at the grammys and like anna sitar and alex earl so totally. it's like they're but gonna like, be at all of them yeah we're gonna be at all of them and you post non-disclosed ads <laughs> wait really <laughs> oh my god yeah there was like this woman who Oh, I forget. I think he went to like Australia or something. And it was like literally for oh, like a travel agency. Or it was like for Australia. Yeah. But then like he didn't disclose that it was not an ad, which I feel uh. like there's like a weird line with that now. Remember when we started and they were like, you have to write it on every slot. No. Yeah. But also people think that if you get like a, like how we got gifted like Poppy or YSL lipstick or whatever, sure. like you need to disclose. It's like, no, that's different. I like think, if you post on your story, like you don't have to say I, it, I anything. I do think that you're supposed to write like gifted. Really? Yeah. I've I, never been told that or I like done like, it. I don't think that they like yeah. care, but I think that um, like per the guidelines, you're supposed to disclose that. Wow. I we'll learned something new every day. Uh, Damn. I've been breaking the law for years. <laughs> I just think it's like so loose that it like doesn't actually matter. Like yeah. the government's not going to come after people for not doing that because like, yeah. you didn't technically get paid. Cause I've seen like, I remember I got gifted a whiskey one time and then I saw another TikToker with the whiskey and she like made a TikTok of it. Like just like, not like really an ad, but it was yeah. in the TikTok and it was like shown. And a lot of comments were like, oh my God, she didn't even say it was an ad. Like this is against. And I was like, mm, I think she just got it sent to her. Yeah. A like, lo- I follow a lot of influencers in other countries, like a lot in Europe. And like every time they post something that's gifted to them, they write like uh, gifted or ad. Whoa. Gifted. Yeah. It's an odd. Um, well, we can recap Vanderpump Rules since okay. Carly didn't watch Love is Blind. Okay. Are we... Have you been well, seeing any I, of the... This was not an agreed upon thing. Had, I think like... I didn't even know it was out until yesterday. Okay. Wow. Yes, we are, people were asking me. I was like, I didn't even know it was new. Wow. So... Well, it was really interesting because on our new episode of Good Influences, I'm like, I think it's coming out soon. It's so timely. 
so timely. Because then we start talking about love is blind. Finally, we're timely on something on Good Influences. It's so funny because Mike just has no idea what love is blind oh, is. Yeah, he's like, like explaining it to him like he's fine. Like he, he's literally like we just unfroze somebody yes. after a hundred years. Uh-huh. And we have to explain to him everything. That's what makes makes Mike so great. No, I know. I was thinking about, I was showering the other day. <laughs> thinking about Mike. And I was just thinking about how Mike and I have like actually no common interests really <laughs> no but like you know what yeah, i mean but yeah. like our personalities are so similar and we have the same like sense of humor yeah but like genuinely we are polar opposite yeah so interesting and, like, the only thing maybe that we have in common is like music except for taylor swift yeah kind of so i feel like same though like what, what do i have in common with mike but he's like such a sweet human no he's like one of my like, favorite he's people such a great friend and person yeah love I feel like we're always chatting about this king. We are. King Mike. I, I want him to find a bay. I know. We, we will. If any nice Jewish gals come forward, let's set him up on a blind date. Come on. Come on. And he has very specific things. And I know what they are. We grill him every time we're in the car. So I oh, feel yeah. like we could do a really good job. Like we uh-huh. could Chris and Chloe him. You know how they like had a bunch of people. It was like Chris. Was it Chris Courtney? Chris Courtney and Chloe. No, it was Chris and Chloe when they were trying to find Scott a girlfriend. Oh, I and don't he, remember like, this. Sat, it was, I think, in like the new season. Oh, I don't think I even watched the new season. Um, <laughs> you didn't miss much. Um, they like sit down a bunch of girls and interview them. And I feel like we would be the perfect oh, people to funny. do that. Yes, we would know. We would get the right girl through. I, my, like Mike has a lot of girlfriends, but I think we would do the best job. I agree. Picking. 100%. Yeah. We're the only ones fit for this job. I agree. Yeah. So come forward. Come Email forward. us. Yep. We'll do it. We'll do it live on Good Influences. <laughs> do you remember? You know. I want to get Rick Glassman so bad <gasps> to surprise. surprise them. Matt would literally have a panic attack. I know. He would turn so red and probably throw up. They are obs- I feel like it would be like easy t- to get him to come. You think? Like, I don't think it would be too hard. We should DM him, but then we'd have to figure out all the seating arrangements and everything. I don't even necessarily know if he needs to be on the episode. Oh, what are you saying? Like, I think that it would be funny if they just like walked in and Rick Glassman, <laughs> like, especially now in the new studio, there's that like big wall. Yes. Like if we were just like, like stand behind this, we're going to start recording and then just like walk in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's hilarious. They're obsessed with that man. Oh, Matt would freak out. He'd be like, oh, I have to interview him. I'm scared. What do I say? <laughs> Even though he'd probably do a great job. He would do an amazing job. Yeah, Matt's really good at interviewing. So she'd just be like chatting with him. Yeah. Matt is so funny. Now I'd be like, so bring me back to your vine, the vine days for you. Like, what was that like for you as a comedian? <laughs> yeah. With all these dumbasses just making videos, getting I famous. Know. He was so funny. All right. Should we recap VPR? Yeah. Okay. Um, big takeaways for me. Um, obviously we went further and deeper into emo night. We did. Which it was very comical for me to see James like coming to emo night and then all of them sitting in the green room and him just like giving them the tea. For me, that was my favorite <laughs> scene because- Were you like, down there when he was doing that? No. Because you were in the episode for like a split second in the background. I think I left the room. Okay. Because I was like, I want to wait. <laughs> like, I don't want anything spoiled. I want to wait for the show. That's just so funny. Um, also, I was like, I'm not just going to like sit here and watch these people have a conversation and not be included in it. No, I know. No, um, I, I'm not just including myself. Yeah. Oh my God, you're cra- you're, you're kidding. Yeah. You went to Sandoval's? <laughs> Why? Not mic'd up at all. You just see. Yeah. No words. They're like, get out of here. Yeah. But so for me, that was like so iconic because I was like, they're just literally having a conversation like in this green room that I have been in yeah hundreds of like times. the stomping grounds so funny. Of stomping grounds um and then when the girls go to dj like obviously proud wife moment of tj like being like give it up yeah that was fucking awesome and introducing them and you know that really did it for me um so embarrassing embarrassing moment for me was when tom was upset that rachel didn't reach out to him on his birthday <laughs> Like, what are you talking I about? I was cracking up. I also saw, so I guess Rachel just put out a podcast and she was like- Ugh, A new one? To be clear, she was like, I ended things before his birth. It was before special, uh, the Forces show, Special Forces. Oh, yeah. She's like, I ended things like, with him. Stop talking about that. Yeah, but she was like, I ended things bef- before he went to that. So when he came back, like he already knew I wasn't going to message him. So again, he's just, yeah. So- be sorry for me. Hate him. Um, I did like how when, so James and Tom had a conversation last episode and he kind of just like threw it back in James's face being like, well, I'm not sorry because of something you did 10 years ago. And then Tom was telling Schwartz afterwards that he said that. And Schwartz was like, man, like, why can't you just apologize? Like you shouldn't have done that. No, Schwartz is like different this season so far. Because I feel like that's the only, well, 
watch the fucking after shows. He's the same. Oh. He's literally like still ride or die for Sandoval. Okay. And I think you can start to see it in this episode. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, oh, when he invites them. Yeah. Damn, ugh, so he weird. started, yeah, I was like, you're doing good. And then I was like, well, never mind. Fuck yeah. you again. Um, but I, I really liked how he, you know, finally fucking said something. Cause he's always just like riding the yeah. middle line. No, he seems to be like genuinely like mad at Sandoval. Yeah. Cause Sandoval did kind of ruin his life too. <laughs> yeah. By doing the things he did. Especially because they have all these like, businesses together. Like, yeah, but like maybe you shouldn't have had his back while he was doing yeah. a terrible, awful thing. Like, I agree. But both things can exist. Totally. You know, but it's like, I think that he's also mad at himself for, imagine if he had come yeah. forward like earlier. Say, uh, Schwartz. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he probably just someone. was like, I'm stuck with this secret. No, hundred well, percent. Because they know. always protect each other. All yeah. of those boys. They always have boys when's the valley coming out i think the summer that's gonna be god awful no i think it'll be good are you being serious no i mean yes i think we think it's gonna be bad i think it's gonna be really good i think it's gonna be terrible we'll have to say um sheena and katie go out to repair their relationship and i just wanted to give a little tea on this yes sheena and katie after emo night refollowed each other refollowed each other on Instagram. And I just think that's like, you know, the kind of stuff that email like does. It really brings people back <laughs> together. Yeah, that was like a big takeaway from that night. Erin was like, she yeah, they and were like, Katie, I think are friends again now. Yeah. It's like, what? They were chatting in the green room. I think this was the first time that they like were together. That they came. Ah. Oh. I'm trying to remember what Katie, no. Uh, no, no, I think it was the second time. I thought it was the first time. It might've been the first it time. It was the first time, I'm pretty sure. Cause I think they would have filmed that and like put it on the show. If they were having a hard time, it was the first time. Yeah, they went. To, they did emo night twice. I think they said that on the show, yeah. but um, second time was filmed. Then Lisa wants to get the group back together, so they plan this fake trip to Tahoe. And then Schwartz is like going around being like, "I'm oh, yeah. doing a trip," and it's like, "It's like don't do this when, right now." When like, in your life have you ever been able to plan something? Yeah, like Schwartz, the planner. Since when? I mean, I was just cringing. I was like, "I know." Oh, this is so fucking awkward. Like Ariana's already so like. She's being very like cutthroat, which like obviously she's allowed to because mm -hmm. that's what happened in her life or whatever happened in her life made her that way. Um, but I was like, don't say that right now. Like I Ariana's know. already in such a bad place. And like, don't say, I'm going to invite Sandoval too. Do you guys want to come? And I don't like how when Ariana was, you know, very directly being like, well, I'm not going to go if like he's going to be there type of thing. And she was like, speaking for the group because that's genuinely how yeah. everybody else feels yes. but then Schwartz was like stop talking for the whole group and it's like what reality do you live in where yeah. do you think any of these people disagree with her well i think katie said that she too did. yeah she's she like, like we all feel that way yeah um but i'm like schwartz like stop having this man's back i'll be like i get why you, you say that yeah and i'm sorry but like this we have to do this for the show yeah like yeah literally <laughs> like in no world would i be like guys are we're all invited yeah. let's go oh mm -hmm. fuck that yeah uh, -uh. um oh, schwartzy Oh, and then Sandoval shows up at Sir oh, for yeah. See you Next Tuesday. No one acknowledges And then him. who was that random person that they hugged and cried? The guy who walked in. I think he was like a server. Um, yes. He is friends with all of them. Okay. Um, and then I liked the scene in the back alley with Sheena oh. and Sandoval. I was very nervous because I thought that they yeah. were going to have like a rekindling moment, but she like really gave it to him and I loved that i will say i did get chills seeing them in the back of sir 100 having like a crazy conversation i was like this is everything everything, everything. oh i just i love it it just like ties the show back together when yeah. they're in the back lot of sir and she i did i like how she didn't cry like she literally no, she was, like, looked pissed yeah but she also it was like so crazy how he was like trying to be friendly with her i know at the beginning and i was like I but i did feel like she was trying to be hard <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean like i don't I also know love the, like her pretending not to see them sitting at the table huh. oh Oh yeah, I know, I know. And her sunglasses. I was like, it's okay. like, okay, they obviously told you to walk by. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's fully set up. <laughs> but it's up a show, so like you have, have to do it. Of yeah. Of course. Um, but I like that she stood her ground. Yeah. And that's kind of a first for Sheena, I think, right? Well, no, she did last season when they initially, she found out. Remember she sat him down on the couch? Oh, well, yes. Also, I mean, like, scandal. But yeah, was, like, I feel like Sheena first. is normally the one to like be forgiving of people. Yes. Um, and I like that she's still standing her yeah. ground here. And I had no problem with it. Yeah. I loved the scene. Yeah. That was the last scene. I think so. I think so too. It's on tonight and I'm so fucking annoyed because TJ has to oh. be gone until like 10 p.m. Well, 
you want to watch it with me and Emma? <laughs> but you probably don't want to leave TJ. I get it. Whatever. No, I think I might like watch it without him and lie. And lie. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to bring this up because I saw this today and I thought that was so weird. Oh. Okay. It says, Katie Maloney says she was supposed to film a double date with Matt Reif before he blew up on TikTok last season on Vanderpump Rules, but he backed out last minute. Katie claimed Matt was all about it when he heard the idea. So she was surprised when Matt was doing an interview and named the Vanderpump Rules cast as a group of people he wouldn't want to be <gasps> stranded on a deserted island with. I just thought that was so interesting. So we were supposed to get a double this date or a date with them like last the worst. season. Yeah. Crazy that we would have got that last season. Like fucking Matt Reif on a date with Katie. <laughs> Or a double date, or I forgot what it said, but oh my weird. God. What a we- he's so weird. What's he up to? He's still torn doing this thing. Oh wow, yeah. He I don't like him either. I mean, yeah, the stuff he was saying about Brooke really rubbed me the wrong way. Obviously, she looked absolutely stunning. She is. She's so, like the tiniest little thing. I had no I idea. Know. She's oh, she's everything. I, I know. I keep she. She just is on my TikTok for you page. Yeah, same. but I liked how her and Tana were. Um, wearing like matching rick owens dresses. oh yeah mm-hmm. um love that and i don't know i just think that she's so stunning and i cute. know she is she's so little i'm so happy she went brunette i've seen i just saw a picture of her blonde and i was like oh my god she looks wait what oh, yeah I she used to be seen. blonde like back in the mindy days mindy oh you're never mind who's mindy so brooke got introduced to the internet because she brooke. it was something to do with like her having sex with like one of tana's like flings or something and so tana made a whole story time and she's like i'm not gonna name the name but i'm gonna call her mindy and, and so then brooke pe- was mindy. people found out that brooke was mindy and then it was like so this they whole thing friends. they were friends but then she was like fuck this girl and so obviously they weren't friends for a while and then now they're friends again i don't really know let me try to find just type in I like need to start following her on ig yeah but i remember because we were blonde at the same time and i was like she was explaining like how her hair doesn't break off and stuff and i was like oh you're <gasps> so lucky. yeah she looks so different right I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. It's her, hers is like, she looks like a different person. Yeah. I mean, she no, looks she's, like so stunning. I mean, she always has looked stunning, but she looks like more like mature stunning now, I think. She, no, she, she looks, more like, looks Instagram. like every person on the internet yes. in this photo. She's yeah. like so beautiful. Oh my God. What? I know. Oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> genuinely if you showed me this photo i think i would be like i don't know who that is i know i'm so yeah she's stunning that is so crazy that's mindy <laughs> wait so what happened with the mindy thing yeah i can't it was so long ago you'll have to like watch a whole video about it or something oh my god that is so crazy i can't believe her hair was so blonde she's so cute i know i love her wow she i need i need to follow that's so funny. I just followed her on Instagram too. Cause I was like, I didn't realize I wasn't following her. Look at her little dress. Um, okay. Should we do Am I the Asshole? We sure can. Should we? It's been an hour and a half. Maybe we can do, do you want to do one since I did one last time? Sure. Okay. Am I the asshole for not wanting to share my inheritance with my step siblings? My 22 female mom and grandparents passed away a few months ago in a terrible accident and left me everything. My mom and grandparents were incredibly rich, old money rich type. So it's a lot of money. My parents divorced when I was 15 when my dad cheated on my mom with his co-worker. They had a prenup signed. So basically my dad received nothing from the divorce and I lived with my mom full time. I visited my dad during school holidays, but I was never a fan of his new family, the woman he had an affair with and her kids. Mm. Anyway, I'm still processing the list of grandparents and mom. I think she means loss, but it says list of my grandparents and mom. But my dad wants me to share my inheritance with his stepkids. Dad was fired from his old job after the affair blew up and is struggling to maintain a job. So his living situation is pretty bad. My mom paid for my university and I'm planning to invest this money and also continue studying masters. Um, My step siblings will be turning 18 next year. And my dad was saying how they have to get student loans to pay for their college. I told my dad it's not my problem because I don't see them as my family. And this money is from my mom and grandparents who definitely don't see them as family. He blew up on me calling me heartless. His wife 
is also messaging me asking for money to help them out, but I told her to leave me alone because she's not entitled to anything. They are now harassing my boyfriend into changing my mind. It's getting increasingly annoying. Some of my friends think I can give them just 10% to help out because I will still have more than enough money. Am I the asshole? Hmm. She's not on good terms with them. She doesn't say that. <sighs> this is like kind of tough. It's like morally, it's like, Maybe, but I don't think she's ob- she's not obligated to. I know. I don't think that. I think it's hard for me too. I wish I knew like more intricacies of their relationship. Yeah, can you update us? Like I, but she did say I don't see them as family, but still, like, I don't know. It's really tough because he did cheat on her mom and like blow up their fucking family. Yeah, and they're not even his children. Yeah, they're his stepkids. Yeah, which I get it. Like, they're family. They're your family. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I don't know. I, you're not well obligated to. I know. It's struggling pretty bad. Yeah. He lost his job. That's what, okay. That's he what. was like, they're going to have to get all these loans. I think it's more of a just like, it would be really nice if you could do this to help out me. Yeah. But yeah. she by no means has to. And I don't think that she's the asshole for not. I don't think so either. I think it's her decision. It's her mental health. <laughs> like, yeah, she might be like, I hate that I have to do this. Yeah, like, and I, I would don't just see them as family. Be like, you're not my family, and like you're my family, but I, I don't even know if I like mom wouldn't want you to have this money because of what you did to her. Yeah, so like that'd be tough. I don't know how I, what I would do to be honest. Also, like depends how much it's money too. Got to be like millions and millions and millions of dollars. I'd be like, here's ten thousand, you plebeians. <laughs> <You know, laughs> just like, take pay it. for their college. Like that's. Yeah, she's that's, gotta have a. Sh- I bet she has like two hundred million dollars. You think a billion? <laughs> B, yeah, we, it says she gets canceled because she's a billionaire. Old now. money, rich type. Oh yeah, yeah, which I yeah. Like at least a fifty mil. <laughs> Parents, that is crazy. I, I don't think, know. I think if I, I think. Oh, sorry. I'm just saying, if I won or was gifted fifty million dollars, I feel I feel like I would have no problem giving away like a hundred thousand of it. To be honest, yeah, like, I to think someone that I don't like, I would be. <laughs> And, and a I would be like, like sure, here. I'll give you this money, but, and then like, I would <laughs> but, know, like, make my dad have to do things for me. Okay. That's fair. You're giving him money. Yeah. Yeah. Because he, he was really awful and cheated. But we're going to chop your penis off. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> we will castrate you, but you will get a hundred thousand dollars. Fair. Yeah. yeah. I think that's fair. It's like one. Okay. So pretend there's three step siblings. Okay. Two testes, one peen. Two testes, one peen. So it's like, I'll give you 50K, <laughs> but one's got to go. So I'm like, are so you willing lost. to get $150,000 for to oh. be completely castrated? All of them? Yeah. That's fair. They're men. 150K? I don't think I would do it. <laughs> I would be like, you don't love these. Ch- I'll tell these kids that you wouldn't do it for them. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, that'd be really hard in that situation. No, I would just be like, you, every time that my car needs a tune up, you have to take it in. Like, I would just make a list of things yeah, that yeah, you yeah. needed to do for me. Yeah. It's like, no sweat off my back. It was never my money. And if I'm not even going to realize it's gone, like, whatever. Okay, so if it were me, I'd you be like, be my bitch now. <laughs> no, yes. I'd be like, here's the money, but these are the things you'll have to do for me. Yeah. Go grocery shopping. Yep. Cook. Especially, he doesn't have a job. Cook for me. <laughs> he doesn't have a job. <laughs> yes. Here's the money and you, this is your job now. <laughs> yeah. I gave you money. This is your job now. Forever. Go to the grocery store, cook, be my chef. Yeah. Do my laundry. Basically be like a uh, house I'm not person. having a man do my laundry, but like for you. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I don't care. Um. Yeah, what else would I want him to the do? The grocery store is really the only thing I hate doing. Like the only thing I would feel like I would want an assistant for is grocery shopping. Have you seen all this stuff about Trader Joe's coming out on TikTok? No, Nolan kind of mentioned something, but I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, he shouldn't get a hold of it. What? Because he's not going to let you go there anymore. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I We can't go anywhere else. We know it so well. Yeah, well, everyone's like... Oh, it's something about unionizing? N- no, they're like, what's in the food? It, why is it so cheap? Like, people are starting to, like, dig oh, up, like, all oh, of this it stuff. It probably is a adding on to something with, like, unionizing. Something was going on with all the workers. That, seen that part. wasn't very good, but I didn't really... He, like, said something in passing. I was oh, like, I huh? I didn't know that. Yeah. No, everyone's, like, talking about, like, the quality of the food and, oh. like... I don't care. Their quality of food is fucking good. Being, good. Like, no, they're, like, literally, like, this isn't real food. I don't care. I know. I should care. Apparently, yeah. I'll fucking... Did you see the thing I sent you about all your Quaker oats? You're going to be... Yep. Infertile. Yep. Which is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's why I eat them every like, day. I love Cheerios. <laughs> I know. 
That's awesome. I eat Cheerios too. A lot. Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah, they're the best. Yeah. I never liked them when I was growing up because I was such a plain Jane, but I love Honey Nut Cheerios now. My dad would always get the Honey Nut Cheerio ones and I was like, ugh, stop. And then it was like, it'll help your cholesterol. And we're like, it definitely doesn't. <laughs> like the way that they <laughs> advertise that to people. Yeah. That shit is bad for you. Okay. I don't follow it, this allergist, but he's like a TikTok allergist. allergist. I don't follow this allergist. But he, it always comes up on my feed because I like will always watch the videos. I think they're so interesting. And they came out it is so fucking weird i was just talking to tj's parents about it the other day i was like why haven't they figured out allergies like yeah they've been around forever like why is there nothing that we can do for any of them like anaphylactic allergies right they the fda like i think just approved a shot that you can get like every four weeks or something that's supposed to if you have like any interaction with the allergen on accident obviously like Like tj with peanuts exactly then it will like completely lessen the reaction oh. like you're like basically not gonna go into anaphylactic that's great shock. i know but, but the allergist was like i haven't like we're, i'm just hearing about it i haven't done a lot of research i gotta keep reading but like baseline this is what i'm learning about it and i was like so can tj go get the shots I don't or is know. it like not like out yet i don't uh he didn't really say much he was just like there were two tiktoks oh. i sent it to tj and i was like that would be so fucking sick would he do it I doubt it. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, why not? I know. I would be like, oh, yeah. I think it's just because the fuck I don't up. know. God, I think about it every day. I know. I, I, it would help you a lot. When I'm, it help you more than him. A hundred percent. When I am with both Tim and TJ, I just am like, Laura, how did you like make it through life? I know. TJ's dad went in, like it happened to him in an airplane. <gasps> How did he survive? And he still doesn't tell people that he has allergies. If you, I, we go out to dinner and I'm like, he's tree nuts, he's peanuts. <laughs> tree nuts, peanuts, get it straight. Yeah. God. And like, she's just like, we're at a steakhouse. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Okay, but anything could be made with nuts. No, like, no 100%. Yeah. And like, do you never know what people are fucking putting in their shit? Yeah. But Laura's always like, thank you. I always forget. And I'm like, how? <laughs> like, yeah, that Tim is crazy. On an airplane. So. Did you say what happened or did I totally he, miss that? They, I think they just like landed and oh. he like, what, like the, the, <sighs> whatever the fuck it's called, ambulance. We're so lucky we don't have any allergies like that. No, it's, I, I just like feel really bad that I never cared about it before. Like a little girl that I nanny when I was younger, she had a peanut allergy, oh. but I was like, oh, like whatever, I'll give her her sun butter. But like, if I had like been so fully aware as to what I am now, like, I was probably like serving other kids peanut butter or eating peanut butter myself like around her. And I just like, didn't think about it. Well, Not that I was doing that, time. but no, totally. Yeah. But it's like, I don't think that there's enough like education out there for people who don't have to deal with that. It's giving the housemaid. <laughs> Wasn't it the housemaid? When she was like, my daughter's allergic to peanut butter. I don't, oh And yes. then there's peanut butter in the pantry. Or but then she like wasn't that. allergic to peanut yeah, butter. something like that. Spoiler alert. I know. It's like the, all these things that like you just never think about until they affect you. Yeah. And that's just how we are as people. I know. No, 100%. Like living in my own world until <laughs> yeah. it's like. What's an but allergy? But it's just like I didn't know a single person growing up that had. Like I didn't either. Like none of my close friends had an allergy. I just like didn't. I'm like, really. are peanut allergies a newer thing? It's like no, I didn't know I think anybody. that's like the number one allergy. Yeah, now. Like forever. I just like don't remember it. But I also was in Nebraska. Oh, I think that's so. because <laughs> we just didn't, it was not something that affected our daily life. Yeah. Well, when I worked at Panera and we made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, I did have to switch the knives for peanut butter, almond butter, but Good yeah. Good job. Laura yeah. was telling, like now at schools and stuff, they have like, like I think it's so sad. It's like segregation. Why? <laughs> like kids who like ha- have allergies have to like sit at- <gasps> A certain like table? a different table. You're like, oh, here are all oh, the freaks. Sad. But now I think that they're, do- like, I don't think you can bring, like, peanut butter to school. Yeah, that makes I sense. I do think it's, like, the top allergy. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And then, like, shellfish. Yeah. If you bring peanut butter to school, you're basically a terrorist at this point. <laughs> like, so many people are allergic now. I know. It's just so crazy. Yeah. I'm glad that they figured out this shot. I think it's going to help a lot of people. Did you see the, oh, my God, this is so fucking awful. I think she was, like, a influencer. She ate... It was like she's at a New Year's Eve party or something and like ate a bunch of these cookies and the packaging was mislabeled. They were really like a peanut butter cookie. <gasps> the packaging? Mm-hmm. Holy shit. So scary. That is crazy. 
So Did she smooth. not? This sounds like I'm victim blaming, and I'm not. But I was, I was like gonna not say like, realize. yeah, because I feel like once you taste peanut butter, like you know it's peanut butter. I like only at eating almond butter. I think that she, I don't know. Yeah, I Fuck, really don't dude. know. Also, she could have been like drunk or something and not knowing, or no, like maybe 100%. it just didn't taste like it. Well, even when we were in, yeah, it could have been like a very minimal ingredient. Mm-hmm. But like when we were in Mexico, TJ nor it normally when he eats something like peanut right away like he gets the same sensation but because i think in mexico it was like a cross-contamination thing or like maybe they cooked in the same pan like across across the world like he didn't have that he was like i'm really confused yeah now it probably he didn't taste it and it's probably gonna react like he was like i think i have like a hive on my tongue but like his mouth wasn't getting the like peanut sensation so like i I don't know i think it it depends but it's fucking awful and i hope that they shot That'd be iconic. So many people yeah. are allergic to things that can kill them if they. Half the reason I don't want to have a kid. Right, yeah. Well, yeah. Especially having TJ over here. Really, no, I'm like, you're getting the jab. <laughs> the jab. You're getting the jab. He suddenly becomes anti-vax. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to no, do to me. I it's going to give me a microchip. You are getting the jab. It's going to give me like they probably peanut been allergy. Creating it for like such a long time. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. Even like the COVID vaccine, people are like. It's not good because they create it so quickly. It they like, create it no. in the same amount of time as a normal vaccine. They The reason it takes so long for normal vaccines to get made, it's because all the time and money yeah. they have to make and totally. fund or whatever. And that was already funded. So they just did it real fast. Yep. So. And they had been Anyways. like doing it for a long time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But they just didn't. Yeah. For a. Uh, SARS or whatever. Yeah. A COVID vaccine in general. But for COVID-19, they had to. Like anything else on TikTok I've seen. No, but know. that really thrilled me. It's one of those weird things that you're like talking about being like, why doesn't this exist yet? And then it just yeah. gets put in my lap like that. Yeah, that's crazy. He's so he is like the nerdiest little sweetest man. <laughs> I'm obsessed with him. Send me him. He's so cute. He's like, you guys, you're never going to believe what happened. But he, it's like really informational <laughs> Good. about like every kind of allergy. I almost want to get a test to see if I am allergic to anything. I want to get a blood test because I've had the like patch oh, test. Oh, like an allergy blood test? And I feel like the b- the blood test is more accurate. Even after I was done, they were like, you can go get like a blood test to just like make sure. And yeah. I'm like, well, then what the fuck was the point of doing this? <laughs> yeah, like, why didn't I just do this instead? I think I'm like a little l- allergic to the sun. <laughs> because every time I go outside, I sneeze. But it's also, I think that's just called like photo like sensitivity or something. Every time I go outside, I basically I sneeze. Oh, not that that's like an allergy. I don't but think you would like the blood test though, because the needle. Yeah, probably not. But it is more accurate. And if you, I don't know if you do, but like TJ, when he so his whole life, he thought he was allergic to every nut because his mom just told him that. Um, and then he got the like scratch test. But he has such sensitive skin that like it, it literally is like you're allergic to everything on earth. Oh. And so then he got a blood test of everything. And they're like, nope, the only thing you're allergic to is peanuts. Wow. Yeah. The blood test seems like more ideal. Yeah. They, I mean, they literally told me. They were like, go get a blood test. Is that like, does it health insurance cover an allergy test? I don't think it did. So stupid. It's part of your health. I know. I can't. And I had to do it like m- multiple times. I had to go back. Oh my God. Because I can only do so many at a time. And they were like, Ugh. You're allergic, you're allergic to this tree and this the feathers and this. And I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because when I moved to California, I kept getting really bad sinus infections and mm-hmm. I had never had them. And he was like, oh yeah, it's because there are these trees here and these things that you didn't have back there. Well, at least you know you're not like allergic to like food. I don't know that about I guess shellfish. I'm actually like kind of freaked out. About what? About try, continuing to try shellfish. Because oh, I'm yeah. like, what if, because wh- allergies like get worse the more mm-hmm. that you are exposed to them. And I'm worried that like one time I'm just going to like go into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> so, so anxiety. <laughs> no, but it's like. I know, uh, I know. Because my body just like developed an intolerance. So then it's like, okay, well mm-hmm. then what if it develops into like an actual life threatening yeah. thing? I mean, and shellfish yeah, is fair. the number one thing that people later in life become allergic oh. to. Have you had shellfish since? Well, there's different kinds of shellfish. I know. Oh, God. So have you had what you ate? Yes. And you were okay? With one of them, no. Interesting. Because I think that I'm alert. Uh, so it's like, there's like mollusks and something else in the shellfish category. Like I think, like the ones that open up. Uh-huh. Sorry, the amount of times I could talk about this. <laughs> open up is like their own genre. And okay. then like lobsters. Yeah, and then like lobsters are like a different genre. Oh, okay, okay. And like those like kinds clams, of things. Like clams, oysters. These guys, yeah. yeah. So I had one of these guys <laughs> okay. and a lobster. Got it. 
and I got sick and I didn't. Unsure. Yep. And then the next year after I got my allergy test and it was confirmed that I was not allergic, had the same exact reaction. Then the next year I was like, I'm going to try one one day and one another day to see if yeah, it's one or the other. Um, tried the lobster one night, little tiny bite. Uh-huh. Totally fine. Huh? Had a quahog, which is one of these guys. <laughs> the next night, same amount, violently oh violently ill yeah you don't need that again then so i think that it's don't the, eat the, the open the mouth opening. guys <laughs> <laughs> which like sucks like there's so many good things like what is in that category i can't even think like um uh like an oyster a clam uh oh my what are the little black ones um a mussels oh okay scallops i think okay but I don't really like sh- maybe shrimp, but I got to like figure out the yeah. categories because like a shrimp has a tail. So like maybe that's a lobster. <laughs> the, the way I don't know anything about seafood is insane. Yeah. I mean, growing in Massachusetts, yeah. like, to be fair, though, I like didn't eat it until I was mature because ew. like I didn't like sushi until I was like probably 19. Same. Exactly. Like, same. Is, and I would try it all the time. Oh, yeah. I would put it in my mouth and chew it and spit it out at the restaurant. <laughs> the only like seafood I remember smelling was like the lobsters at the grocery store. <laughs> remember how they'd oh, be yeah. in those little containers? Oh, it so sad. Ugh, like the looking smell, at their though, sad little eyes. I know. The smell was terrible. I hate the fucking grocery <laughs> store. Just everything about it. It's just like, why do you have lobsters in there? <laughs> why are the lights like that? It's terrible. I hate it. I know. Okay, we should probably end this so I can send this off. It's been almost two hours. Oh, whoopsie days. Whoopsie, but whatever. <laughs> thank thank you. you guys so much for listening. We're going to have a bonus podcast episode this week. So make sure to send in all of your questions, comments, concerns, am I the assholes, whatever you got to onlyfriends696969 at gmail.com. We've got some juicy updates in the last one we did. Mm-hmm. So we've been getting really good submissions. Yeah. Hopefully you guys send some more updates and that will be out on Thursday. Woo, woo. Um, and then make sure to listen to Good Influences this week. It is over on our YouTube. It's funny. I listened on the way here. <laughs> yeah, I listened to it last night. Um, and bear in mind, I was very tired <laughs> while recording. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They meant watching uh, it. I was also, like, last night, I, I was, oh, whatever. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> we can't stop talking. Make sure to like, to subscribe. Do people say that for YouTube? I don't, I don't know, girl, I don't know. anymore. Just do Love all you. everything. Bye. <laughs>